A team from MIT has shown a new augmented reality system. Its main feature is the ability to search for hidden objects. For example, a warehouse worker will be able to quickly find a box with the right t-shirt. The search accuracy is about 10 centimeters, and the tests were successful in 96% of cases. The system is based on the Microsoft HoloLens headset and uses a combination of radio frequency signals and RFID stickers. Given the size of modern warehouses, the prospects for this system are more than excellent. Another creation from MIT, a 3D printed robotic heart. The computer model allows you to take into account the special needs of each patient, and the hearts are printed with special polymer inks. They retain their elasticity, even when hardened. Hearts help select treatment options, and doctors use them to check the effects of different implants, for example. This procedure is very important, because some areas of the heart of many patients with impaired heart function are weakened or overloaded. Plus, 3D hearts will be useful for training new doctors, and ideally, the whole process of building, printing, and activating the model should be over in a day. Cars got their share of new technologies as well. How'd you like the idea of removing the steering column and other weird metal pieces? Now, smart electronics will help you steer, and you can switch modes at will, changing between sport and comfort. Something similar was shown 10 years ago by Nissan, but this model was created by an American team. As for their project, they write the following. The cars will become lighter and more maneuverable, and it will be easier for motorists to drive in bad weather. For instance, vehicles could automatically adjust how much a driver has to turn his steering wheel to maneuver the vehicle in different driving situations and vehicle speeds. The development is also compatible with autopilot and is suitable for electric cars. We doubt that there's anyone left who hasn't heard of the metaverse a permanent virtual space where users communicate and have fun as they please using avatars. And while Mark Zuckerberg is developing the concept, Japanese tech giant Sony unveiled these sensors last year. They enable avatars to repeat the movements of their owners with precision. It is called Mokopi, and it consists of six sensors for the wrists, ankles, head, and pelvis and will cost Japanese customers $360. Everything is set up with a mobile app. Plus, you can immediately record a fun dance, a character presentation, an unusual talk, or any other content. Did you know that New Zealand is one of the most innovative countries in terms of agriculture? One of the reasons is the lack of government subsidies. If you want to make a profit and be able to compete, you have to be innovative. So, it's no surprise that this robotic platform for orchards and vineyards came all the way from New Zealand. The architecture is modular, so the platform can fight weeds, cut grass, spray crops, and solve other equally important tasks. It's also autonomous but you can switch to manual control. In this case, one operator can easily cope with five platforms. In addition, the smart system adapts to the characteristics of different crops, and at the same time analyzes the harvest, so farmers can clearly see the effectiveness. According to the designers, the cost of such machinery will be recovered in about a year, and it will not only replace labor force, but also increase efficiency. Next up is a development for hunting enthusiasts to help combat unnecessary odors. According to the designers, their product provides continual active scent control that works before, during, and after your hunt. 
Besides, the device will come in handy at home, in the office, and anywhere else. It can be used for about 8 to 10 hours on one charge, and it's intuitively easy to operate even with gloves on and in the dark. Everything works thanks to ozone. The idea is to kill bacteria and many microorganisms by removing body odors, the smell of gun grease, and more. Plus, the Hyperboost technology increases ozone production by 25%, for example, during peak animal activity. All of these features are contained in a small housing, weighing about 500 grams. A clever mounting system is included for fast and silent installation. But the price tag strikes a nerve. It's $400. Meanwhile, this robot is available to everyone who has $2,900 to spare. It can balance itself on its two big wheels, and if necessary, tilt by leaning on the two small wheels. Thanks to its speed of 2 meters per second and a payload of up to 80 kilograms, it can easily handle any type of work, whether it's delivery, warehouse work, help in the office, or entertaining. It even jumps 8 centimeters and moonwalks if necessary, just to keep the user happy. One charge is enough for 3 to 4 hours, and the robot is controlled with a joystick. I'd like a bigger version to ride it like a motorcycle. Imagine motocross with obstacles, adds one user. We wonder if the designers will listen to this suggestion. <laughs> Expectation. Flying cars like in Back to the Future. Reality. Hydrogen fuel cell planes. That's not bad either especially because they are expected to be mass-produced as early as 2025. According to this company, they already have 250 modernization orders for a total value of a billion dollars, and Air New Zealand, New Zealand's largest air carrier, is among their customers. The idea of this upgrade is to replace conventional engines with electric ones, powered directly by hydrogen cells, without batteries. In addition, the company plans to use liquid rather than gaseous hydrogen to solve the storage issue. The test plane successfully spent 15 minutes in the air and climbed 3.5 kilometers above sea level, quite possibly marking the beginning of a new era of air travel, less noisy and more environmentally friendly. According to experts, by 2050, wave energy may well provide about 10% of the world's energy needs. The expected market will be worth about $100 billion, so many want a piece of the pie. For example, Brazil. The coastline of this country stretches for 7,500 kilometers, and with a competent approach, they could provide up to 17% of its energy needs and set up exports. These plants can be called the first steps. It's planned to build 20 of them, with a total capacity of about 500 kilowatts. It works like this. The levers go up and down, creating fresh water pressure in the reservoir. The reservoir is connected to the pressure chamber, so the pressurized water moves the turbine, which turns the generator, and voila, you get electricity. About $7.5 million has already been invested in the project, and today, most of the country's energy comes from renewable sources. It's time to take a ride in a sled. This thing has existed at least since the days of ancient Egypt and has been upgraded many times. For example, cargo and passenger sleds are useful not only for hunters and fishermen, but also for scientists, researchers, and repairmen, because they can go where ordinary vehicles can't go. This model withstands a maximum load of 500 kilograms and reaches speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. Plus, it's so reliable that it will serve as a flat bottom boat and endure towing by a helicopter. And this sled is a good family option. It's equipped with suspension for a leisurely ride, lighting, a USB port, 
upholstery with heat and noise insulation, and even a hatch in the floor for comfortable fishing. The payload is 250 or 380 kilograms. This is a search and surveillance module that can be attached to airplanes and helicopters, is operational day and night, and uses a combination of sensors for 180 degree coverage. The module weighs 21 kilograms, and thanks to its shape, it can be installed in nose cones or mounted on custom fixtures for specific vehicles. It's also suitable for many drones, as it's only 86.5 centimeters long. Plus, it can be supplied in a symmetrical configuration, for example, for both wings of a high-wing aircraft. And thanks to the advanced software, it's easy to control, even for people who are not too experienced. Engineers from Pliant Energy Systems have been working for quite some time on the latest technologies in the field of marine energy and robotics. In particular, they researched renewable energy sources, or more specifically, wave energy. And they were so successful that the principles of its collecting wave energy were used to create the fins of this unusual robot. This seemingly strange device floats and moves confidently on snow, ice and sand, doesn't get tangled in algae or debris, and can perform a variety of tasks. For example, it's an ideal solution for rescue operations on thin ice, exploring the Arctic, or for professional divers. Users in the comments found some similarity between the robot and the appearance of Anomalocaris, a fossil creature that looks like a creepy mix of a shrimp and an octopus about 60 centimeters long. Do you think they have something in common? <laughs>